I'm going to do my food for tomorrow. This is carne asada. I have some green peppers, which is jalapeno and serrano, and like four or five tomatoes. I got to make a real mild salsa and a spicy one. Then I have some black beans con el pasote and my steamed rice, and we're going to be making some wet burritos. But I'm cooking it in the night because, no, I'm not cooking in the freaking heat. It's too hot up here in Arizona, so I cook in the night and I have it prepared for the next day. Yes, look at that. All the burners on, yes. Make our wet burritos. We're gonna start by warming up our tortillas. We have our rice, we have our black beans con el pasote, and we have our carne asada meat. So, these are supposed to be made with big tortillas. There's some big tortillas out there, but since I didn't find them, I am going to do two tortillas to make the big, you want to call it an accidental burrito or you want to call it, uh, they usually call them um, wet burritos. So wet burrito or you want to call it accidental burrito. Some people call them accidental burritos. Some people call them wet burritos. Here we go. So we're going to pile up. To make the big tortilla, dos tortillas. So the first thing that we're going to add into our wet burrito is our rice. So we're going to add a layer of rice. See how I piled up two tortillas? Because I normally find those big tortillas. So you have two scoops of arroz. Then you have your frijoles. Try not to get too much juice. Right. And you're going to put two scoops of frijoles. You can do pinto frijoles or you can do black beans. My family likes the black beans with the pasote. And then we're going to add our carne asada. We have so you add as ever much queso or cheese you want however much you want and then you add a little bit of salsa on the inside because it's, the salsa goes on the outside and then you roll this baby up after you roll it up you add salsa on the top of your burrito that's why it's called the wet burrito or accidental burrito add your salsa verde you can buy salsa las palmas my husband doesn't like the condiments so we make fresh salsa with tomatillo and chile at home so you add as much chile as you want and then you sprinkle your queso on top all over and as much as you want depending on if you like it cheesy and you throw it in the microwave for a minute and i'll show you what it looks like and this is what your wet burrito looks like. And then you add crema on top. Crema on the top. Depends on the amount of crema that you like. And then I have also a aguacate green salsa right here on the side. And this is homemade also, you add it on top. Bam! Enjoy, bon appetit.